Hey guys, how's it going? Today I'm gonna to show you how to install this brand new headlight for the Suron. Theoretically gonna be brighter and better than the original one. Also, it comes with the on-off switch, which is one of the main reasons why I want it. For those moments when you're trying to be incognito, you don't want your headlight on all the time. But then again, when it does turn dark, it is very useful to have a headlight in the woods or on the street. So we're gonna install this today, and then at the end of that, we're gonna see if it's brighter than the original one. But if there's one thing I do know, it looks cooler than the original one. And like we all know, looking cool is the most important thing. The first thing we need to do is open up this hatch, Turn off the battery and start working on getting this latch removed. This trap door thing is held on by E-clips and nothing else. So all you need to do is remove the E-clips right here and right here. I already took this one off. It's actually really hard to get them off. What I ended up having to do is literally take a dentist pick and scoop it in there and then yank it off. And I think I just lost that one. Next, you're gonna take a flathead screwdriver, put it in where the E-clip was, and slide this little metal bolt out. Then take this off. Next, you're gonna undo these two bolts with a number four metric Allen wrench. They shouldn't be on there too tight. Once you got the bolts off, you can take this little cover right off. And this reveals all the switching components. Next step is you're gonna find the headlight wire and then follow it down in this wiring harness thing all the way down through here until you find the connection. And this connection is inside of this rubber thing and then you're just gonna undo that connection and remember where it was. Now that socket that you just found right there, that's where you could plug in this new headlight right there. But if you want a switch headlight, which this kit comes with for free, you're gonna actually take the headlight switch and plug the switch into that socket. And then you're gonna plug the light into the switch, if you understand what I'm saying. So right now I'm taking the headlight, hanging it over the edge where it's gonna belong. Leave it right there. And then take your headlight switch, plug that into the headlight, like this, like that, and then put the headlight switch over on the handlebar, kind of where that belongs. And then you're gonna plug this into where the original headlight socket was, just like that, until you hear the nice little click and slide this rubber harness thing kind of over the top of all the stuff that it used to be covering. Now what you're gonna do is take all this wiring and stuff it back inside to where it came. Screw it on pretty tight, but not super tight. Just in case you're crushing one of the wires inside, you don't wanna like smash it or snip it. Now just put this top back on. Once you're done with that, you're just gonna take the old headlight off right here and right here and screw the new one on, right where that old one was. The kit comes with a bracket, a nice CNC'd bracket, but I didn't want to remove my direct mount stems, so that's kind of a pain. So I just screwed it right onto the old one. Then you're gonna also put the little switch right here or wherever you have room. The cool thing about that is, look at this, it lights up. And this is the new light. Functions well, the switch works. So now all we have left is to test it in the dark and see if it's brighter and what the image profile of it looks like. So let's turn the lights back off and I'm gonna turn the manual settings on the camera so it will show if it's actually brighter than the original one. All right, here's the moment of truth. We turn on the new headlight. All right guys, you tell me, is that brighter than the original one? I'll put them on here side by side so you can kind of see the difference. I know one thing for sure, the profile of the light is way different. This one is a perfect circle with a really bright center and a bright outer ring, kind of like the sun. The old one was a nice linear type of light, which was kind of good for spreading it out on a trail. But this one's actually wider than that one was, and it's way taller, and I'm pretty sure it's brighter as well. I can tell you one thing's for certain, the on-off switch is a game changer, so now you can finally go incognito. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.